Phillips. And obviously, if if it weren't for Van Dijk, Matip, Gomez all getting injured, Phillips would currently be playing for Swansea City Football Club. But do you think this season has shown you enough that maybe he should be the one staying and Matip should be yes. the one that... Yes. That's shown the door. Yes, 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 no, yes, yes. No. I'm I'm happy to bring in another centre back, but if we were to go for two or something like that, we can only go for one now. Because Nat Phillips is good enough. Oh, mate, how can you say that when you've only seen him against shit? It's not hard to look Only good against shit. This has been months. Though. If you're saying only against shit, how long has he played for? About three months now? Mm-hmm. We've only these seen are, him these, are, these, these, these are the teams we played for every single every every single season. Why does it matter? No, I'm he's playing alongside shit. Next season, he won't be playing alongside Cavani. Tom, Tom that's that... the, you just said why. If he's playing alongside shit, then why does he not deserve a chance in an actual team? No, 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 everyone looks better when you've got oh no competition. My no, no, think oh, think about it this way. Think about it this way. So, Nat has probably been one of your better centre-backs all season. Our maybe best centre-back all season, apart right. from Van Dijk. If if he's doing that well, comp- playing next to Kabaku, I'm I'm afraid is sh- pretty shit. If you put Nat Phillips next to a Van Dyke, he's gonna look fine because Van Dyke always comes. According to Tom, weekend. he's gonna look worse next to Van Dyke somehow. No, you won't I see don't the same think... output from him. You won't. How, you won't want to. If Van Dyke he's gonna... needs Van Dyke needs a quick centre back next to him. That is the be all end all. Tom, Tom, uh, when, that I, when, I, when, when that I'm phrasing, in, when I'm phrasing that Phillips every single time, I'm saying give him a chance next to Van Dijk because we don't know what he looks like next to Van Dijk until we until he plays there. And I'm not suggesting him be. <laughs> I'm not suggesting him to be your your sort of first team player. I'm, ne- I'm neither am I. I can't ne- you neither am I. Joel Matip with bloody oh. Nat Phillips. Hang on. Yes, I, of course I do. Of course I do. Matip's not even available for two months a year. John Massip has more defensive ability in his left fucking toenail than it's, that. It's a, shame he's, it's a shame he's never on the pitch then, isn't it? So buy someone it's, who it's has ability similar to Massip I'm, I'm and not to, to I'm, I'm happy to bring in, in another centre-back, but if we were to go and buy two, I don't think we need to do that anymore. We don't... We no, don't, don't hang on, no, no, no way. If this guy was called Nat Filipino and he was Brazilian, Tom would love him. You would, would love him. You would because love him. Idiot, it's mediocrity. Oh, he's been God. good this season. This Tom, season, Tom, he has been good. Forget, forget about his history. Yeah? So forget about he was ever going to go to Swansea or ever in the German second league, wherever he was. Forget about that. Look at what he's done on the pitch for Liverpool. And if you only look at that, he's literally been on bar as good as Van Dijk this season. He's been not just that. No, no, no. Yes. Right. Before before we uh, get a continuous argument between these two, Jeannie, uh, thoughts on on Nat uh, Nat Phillips? Do, do you yeah. think he should stay next season? Really, I'd love him to stay. He's definitely not second choice, but I'd love him to stay. Yeah, I mean, you never know. You never know. He, he's not over Van Dijk and Gomez. Um, <laughs> not even over fucking Matthew. Um, yes, he is. No, he isn't. Qu- yes, quality, he is. quality wise, no. Van uh, availability wise, he is. Do you say quality wise? Matip's. What are you saying? Phillips is no, better. No, no, no. I, I agree. Are you talking oh, right, yeah. about technical ability? No, qual- Matip's a better centre back, but he's not fit enough. That's what I'm saying. No, I, I, I'd still, from what they've voted on for Liverpool, I'd still have Nat Phillips over Matip. From no, I'm done. fucking done. Joe Matip got man of the match in the Champions League final. Joe Matip got okay. man of the match. Okay. The but, but look final. at the availability. Look at the vi- look at the availability. He doesn't need to be available game in game out if he's the full. Yes, he centre-back. does. Look yes, at this season. What about this season? And Tom, the one, reason we four, need our fourth choice centre back is because we have our third and second on. Fourth choice centre back. Who the fuck's uh, above Matip? We've we'll, got we'll buy, Van Dijk we're gonna buy Gomez, Gomez. and now Phillips. Who? No, we're going to buy Coletta Khan. So oh my god, Tom! Oh yeah. my god! Why <laughs> would go all go and go for him on the last day of the window and then not renew that interest next season? Because because we're not going to the other anyone. team's going to. The other team's got to dump up that price tag by about a 10 million, 15 million. Yeah, but Duje Classical will know that Liverpool Football Club is interested and they'll want to get the fuck out of France. So that 10, 15 yeah, price how, point how, point how, how, he, how, he, how long has he got left on his contract? I think he's got two years. Yeah, they ain't going to be in no rush to sell him. 
and you might not even be the only team that goes in for him. Mate, you you can get Nat Phillips. You can get probably twenty million for Nat Phillips this summer, and then you buy Kaleta Car for twenty five. Why would we sell Nat Phillips? Okay, okay. We I, I, I'm gonna go to some comments here because I think Tom's brain is literally about to explode. Um, Nat Phillips is a devotee. It's, it's, all... it's, it's no, okay. It's it, it gets better. Uh, Chris Watts saying Van Dyke is average. I know that goes next Phillips comment. Is, oh my God. Matt Phillips is brilliant. The one after that is the best one. Matip Phillips, Joe Gomez <laughs> are the best three centre backs. Um, I think that's very disrespectful to to Van Dyke. I think he's 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 been there and done it. But is it what is it really worth spending that much money on a centre back? Who's gonna sit on your bench and who, who, who's gonna no? Who's gonna sit on your bench and, and do absolutely jack shit, twiddle his thumbs or whatever? We don't know. That, Does do it we? not? Yeah, but well, yeah, but the likely of you getting these injuries well, again no. for a very long time. No, it, it's not. It's not getting the same severity. <clears throat> Having injuries like this can often cause mm -hmm. re, like smaller minor injuries because of them. Like maybe just like sore tendons or whatever around where the injury was after a couple of games. Where you do need quality but, to come in. Yeah, yeah, but Nat Phillips has already proven he's come in, done a fairly good yeah, job. Yeah, and Divock he did that in 2018, and look at him now. Yeah, yeah but there's a difference. Oh, what's well, so hang on, you're what, gonna you're what gonna, is you're the gonna difference? hang on, Tom. What is you're the gonna use a different what, Tom, you're, so what you're gonna do? Oh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a completely different player who doesn't play near the same position and just write off a completely different player because that no. one didn't do that well. No. That's I'm, exactly what you're doing. I'm, I'm not. You've used Origi saying Origi didn't work out, so Nat Phillips isn't going to work out. Nat Phillips doesn't deserve to, to be named with Origi and how he's going to do it at Liverpool because he hasn't no, done that. No, be, but he's had literally what they've already done in 2018 19 oh, is very similar on, to what Nat Phillips has done now. If Kabak came in and done what Nat Phillips done, you would, you would hear his name everywhere. Everywhere. I hear Nat Phillips' name everywhere. And rightly so. And rightly so. Okay, I heard Divock Origi's name everywhere in 2017-18. Stop comparing him to Origi. Uh, it's it's such a similar situation though. I can't. Oh. I've, that's the only thing I've got to go off. They both came in when they were doubted, had a decent impact on the team, signed the new deal, and then turned to shit. That's what Divock Origi done. Nat Phillips. Oh, they're completely different in. players. Completely different players. You're just using them in the same situation. But that. They are effectively in the same situation. They are, but they're not the same player, are they? How do we? Well, How do we know that? Well, other. first of all, Nat Phillips has done stuff every single game, which Origi hasn't Dave done Okarigi in years. Dave Okarigi did stuff every single game in 2017, 18. Years, years, before. exactly, exactly, years. Yeah, but Dave, I'm you comparing. You cannot Dave ride Nat Phillips off because another player hasn't worked I'm comparing out. Comparing Divock Origi's 2017-18 impact to Nat Phillips's impact this season. All right, hang on. So, what would you so really have the same energy Divock for a different Origi player? Of that 2017-18 season. Say we say we bought in because remember Nat Phillips is 23. Say we went got this young Brazilian star, 23 years of age, someone like Rafinha. He came in. He he had a good three months, but you're going to compare him to a Rigi, yeah? But it's not yet because he might just turn out to be a Rigi. You can't look at players like that because they're not a Rigi. Mate, do you honestly think that Nat Phillips has technical ability up there with what you need to succeed week in week you out? Need to, you need league? technical ability as an attacker. You don't need technical ability as a centre. Oh, out. I'm fucking. I stand by that. I do. stand by that. No, you in don't. In this system, you do. Because no, you need to be able to spray 30 yard in this system, he, in this system, he's been an amazing centre back. <laughs> this, this, that isn't the system, though, is it? The system Cup doesn't change his system. Oh, have you seen our high line? If we change our system, our high line wouldn't exist. We play high line every single game. No, you can't say he hasn't changed the system because where the fuck are the raking passes from centre back to winger, centre back to full back? not changing your system. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's, it's changing your style of play. It's not a whole style of play. Yes, it, even screaming for God all season to change his system. An aspect of your style of play, is it not? No, I'm not. To build that. out, build up from the back. You've completely written off a player who's done outstanding for three off. months. You are yeah, comparing him to a rig, he's writing him off. It's not. I'm yes, comparing his impact in 2017 18. I would, I would feel, so now, I would, I would feel depressed if I was a football player and got compared to a Rigi. But I'm not wrong. Well, we I'm don't know wrong. if you're right. Well, we, uh, we don't know if I'm wrong. 
at the end of the day, from what I've seen from Nat Phillips, yes, he's got oh. the heart. Yes, he's got the desire. Yes, he's got the passion. But he doesn't have the technical ability to succeed at a club that wants to be challenging for the title year in, year out. And that is a fact. Wait, what, what, what are you saying? What, you're saying Nat Phillips won't sign a deal? He doesn't matter if he signs a deal. He's, he's not got six months left on his contract. He's got three years. Exactly. So, so seven, what's your point? Why would seven, we sell him? Why would we sell him? We need centre backs at this club. Why would we sell a centre back who's done amazing for three months, who's already played for us? Why are we going to go and get a new centre back who's never played for us? Dave Ockery, he played well for us for three months. We didn't sell oh, him. Stop we, comparing. Yeah. I'm done with it. You're comparing him to a Rigi. It's just, it's so disrespectful to any who's person better? to their who, situation who, with a Rigi. Who, who would you rather have them? Would you rather have Nat Phillips? Or, or a Rigi, are you about to or, say? Or, no, 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 no. Because that's not an accurate comparison. Would you rather have Nat Phillips or, let's say, he seems like this bloke, Fem Botman. Who would you rather have? Oh, you know what you put me can't in you have, situation. Can't you have both? Can't you have both? No, because the way if, this club if, works, you have to yeah, sell to buy with this club. You have yeah, to sell to buy. Massive, massive no needs to leave now. Yeah, massive yeah, needs that, to get what, out of here now. That's sort of, no, that's, no. sort of, that's sort of what I'm getting at, right? Because Matip is so injury prone, and you can't keep him in fit for longer than two games, and his legs are made out of match. Well, would it, would it not? Would it not make sense? To sell him, bring in Botman as a third choice centre back. Nat Phillips is more than capable of being fourth choice centre back at Liverpool football. Club. More than capable. More than capable. Like he's very good to do that. Fourth choice centre back. That way, you you've sold Matic to get the money. Do you think Botman. he'll accept fourth choice centre back when he can be guaranteed? Well, he wouldn't be fourth choice centre He wouldn't. He's better than that. He wouldn't be fourth he, choice centre. He would be. He would be fourth I choice. He, I think he would. If and that 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 then enables you. To do the, the, the things that 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 then enables you to do what every other big club does, which is rotate in the cup games. Because you could easily put Botman and and Phillips in there to yeah, do an FA yeah, Cup. Yeah, yeah, about the cup games. And honestly, yeah, we, but we this have, time we you can. Have... We could have all you, say, you, say, you, you say Klopp doesn't care about the cup games. What's he done this season? He's played no, our strongest team in every right. single cup game we've played. That oh was yeah, Lincoln City point. when Costa Simicas and Reese Williams were at the back. Lincoln oh, City. Oh, I'm, when Tom, I say cup Tom, games, I'm not talking about Lincoln City. I'm Tom, talking about he, the games he, like United. He, he played Thiago against Aston Villa under eight. Under, oh mm -hmm. my God. Ex exactly. There we go. Cool. And it wasn't just Thiago, by the way. Salah was on that pitch. Mane was yep. on that pitch. Mm -hmm. Against Villa under eight, because yep. the last time I checked, Villa do, under eight. Do, do you think? Do you think if we were on form, he would have been playing them? I have well, absolutely no idea. You well, tell Tom, me. We, because, Tom, we, because I we don't know. There's no yes or no to that. So we might as well just look at what it is. To try and let them play themselves into form. We don't know. We don't know if that's it. Ollie's, we might just, Ollie's, 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 I'll, we I'll, might just want to. We might just want to win the FA Cup. If you want to win the FA Cup, you don't play Rhys Williams at the back end. Manchester United. Well, you didn't have many other choices. Who else did we have? We had Nat Phillips, but he didn't play him. Okay, so but that was that. No, that was when Klopp didn't rate Nat Phillips. That Klopp rated Reese Williams higher than Nat Phillips at that time. It was a around. month ago. If he's had three good months, but he weren't favourable. We he, did, oh, he, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't have three good months at that point, did he? When? When is this? When is this? Three good Klopp months. Klopp last. Week. Klopp last night has only just realised now how good Nat Phillips is, and you could see by the way he spoke yesterday or whenever we played. Can I just ask when are these three good months Nat Phillips has had? This month, last month, and when he started playing. So he started playing and he played two games, which was o over the space I, of a what week. What do you want me to do? That's a good do month. Do you want me to start looking at what it could be, like comparing comparing him to Origi he, again? He, he was he was one of your best players against West Ham. But I'm going to go to one of our best players play in every game he's played. They okay, played the right, style, right. but every other well, defender would have done the exact same thing. Oh, well, we don't That's know that, true. do we? Reese Williams would not have done the same thing. I'm not counting um, Reese Williams. I'm not oh, counting oh, okay, so there we go. They're not everyone would Joel have done Joe Massive, Joe Gomez, Van Dyke all would have done perfectly fine in that West Ham game. because they're all better than that Phillips, of course. But so why are we settling for him being second he, choice? He wouldn't... Right, when did I say Nat Phillips would be I'm second choice? I'm not saying choice? you, Niall. Right, okay. I'm looking well, at the I'm man with a picture oh, of him oh, in the bottom oh. right corner. Well, he's, he's obviously gone a bit doolally as well. But my my suggestion would be Van Dyke, obviously, number one choice. 
Uh, Gomez, well, obviously number two. See? Then bring in someone if you don't. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, Gomez two. isn't obviously number two. Oh, good, right. For the for the sake of Tom's mental health, Gomez is number two. Um, and then third, bring in someone if you don't rate Nat Phillips as as a third, but he can still do a job. And Matip can go and get injured on someone else's. But you, do you know how good he is? When we, this is how I know none of our fan base rates him because every single game when he has a, a well above standard performance, we just say he's done a job, and he's done a job every single game he's played. What does that make him? That makes him a very good centre back. I agree. We'll go to some comments. James Bill does a job every single time he plays. Does that right, make right, him a very good player? We, we, we are moving. We are moving. Does that make Stan Phillips bang up, average? Right, right, no, it right, doesn't. No, oh, but if James Milner does no, a job every I say, game, I say, I say, I say not, James Milner does bang average every game. We're not comparing that. James, well, James, James Milner does a job every game. About fifty years between the two of them. But Chris saying that we should get rid of our injury-prone players. Matic Phillips should replace Matic. We can't rely on injury-prone players. We need one more centre back. Do you Jordan honestly think we can sell Massive? Phillips, Gomez, and Van yes. Dyke. Yes, you can. Who will Do, buy Joel Massive with his injury? You said who will buy Joel Massive? Someone will buy Joel Massive. I don't someone know. Who, but someone Holland, will buy him. Spain, Italy, Portugal. There will right. be people. Are they going to pay the value that this club thinks? Rightly thinks that Joel Massive's yeah, worth. Yeah, probably. Well, yes. In because... fact, you could. In fact, you could probably do a swap deal with Botman. As oh, in, have Botman oh, coming? No, 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 no. Shanks as well. I don't even want him. Tom, you don't rate any centre backs unless they're Van Dyke or Gomez. You don't rate them. No, I, I, oh, I that rate Coletta a car. lot of I don't know what Coletta car has done with you, but you seem to rate him very highly. <laughs> oh, I, I watched one Sven Botman game when we were first linked with him. He made two headers leading to a goal. Oh, here we go then. One Sven one Botman game. game. One well, game. also, not not only that, there was, was also there was also a lot of you know. Things where Leo fans were asked about Sven Botman. I'm, I've actually struggled to find a positive comment about yeah, Sven Botman from Leo fans. Yeah, yeah, but, but they're the ones who watch him week in, week out, not on yeah, me. But he's also, he's also remember we bought him He's also 20 years old with a lot of potential to improve. If he's he's also Dutch, as is Van Dyke, so cannot it's settle for potential, potential to improve. Why we not? Need, That's exactly what it is. Now. Are, you, are you telling me that Robertson, when he came in, was world class? No. Was Marne? No. We're no Tom, longer fighting for top four. Tom, we hang on. Be Tom, hang on. Can I ask you Tom, you're right. Tom, you're right. You're right. If we can't give these players time to settle, then why are you making excuses for Kabak? He's gone in a couple months. I'm not making excuses for him. Oh, you have right. the whole time. Kabak's an awful centre back. Whenever I criticise Kavak, I get you and Jeannie coming at me saying, give him time. We haven't got that time to give him. Right. Chris is saying oh, no. Tom is wrong here, mate. Oh. RJ is saying Tom, where are you in the league? Oh, yeah, I got, uh, let's not, let's what not. does that relevant <laughs> <Right. have? laughs> uh, Craig is saying oh, Narl and Jeannie just sit back and relax and enjoy I this. can't believe we're, we're trying to bin off a centre-back who dropped masterclass after masterclass for six months. Who, no, Phillips? No. Can't, masterclass can't. after masterclass. I know that sounds like this guy right next to Joel me. Massive. Joel Massive. <laughs> Joel Massive. Um, that running. Clayton saying, uh, low, low, hi, everyone. He's also saying, haha, you just let them go. I I did, mate. It was mate, it was just easier to, to sort of let them fight. Last wait, couple of comments like, and then you one minute, one last couple like, of comments and then you can regain into the into the argument. I'm leaving if we go back into this bloody you're comparing Origi to Nat Phillips. Is, if I had one more time, saying, I'm gone. It's okay. We're, we're going to move to a Premier League in a second. Uh, Chris oh, saying, I agree oh, with the Liverpool not... addiction comparing a centre-back to... I'm not striker. comparing yes, a centre-back to a striker. I'm comparing the impact. Impact, you said, impact is irrelevant. Anything, to... Comparing anything is irrelevant. Impact, where, so you're saying Origi had a good impact at the start. That doesn't mean we write off any other player who has a good impact from the start. Now, Phillips, every game he's played has had a good impact. Why Niall? are we not giving him this time? Yes, Junior. I thought this was a counselling session. We're slowly killing Tom. <laughs> um, basically, sometimes, you know, what you have to do is Matt you have Phillips to let the, the, the argument have a happen. lower standard of technical skill in their position <laughs> than everyone else. That is the basis of the argument I'm, I'm making. Yet we put them on this high pedestal and make them think they're the shit, when in reality, they are very mediocre. Both you, of you have to... You'd have to wait and see and see what he's like um, 
next to... Hang on, hang on, Tom. Tom, can I ask you a question really quickly? You're calling that Phillips mediocre. Who's the best manager out there to make a mediocre player into the best they can be? We, we've got him. Jürgen Klopp. He, he went Robertson, who was below mediocre, to we're, what he is we're, now. We're Premier now, League champions. Mediocre. We're trying to challenge for Premier League titles and we're gambling on our manager oh, being able oh, to make oh, another diamond oh. out the rough again. I think and, I'm he's, very... late. he's already... Tom, I think you're being very disrespectful to a six team sitting above you right now. Because to assume that you're just going to jump in straight into a title charge, oh, I think you need now. to have a bit of respect for. You know, I, I, how the fuck do you know that? Because we're, we're know... going to get the we're going to get the best centre back in the world back. That solves most of our yeah. problems. And have you never heard? Have you ever heard? Not of an already here, mate. No, I've heard I've seen Roy, multiple players have ACL injuries. Roy Keane had an ACL injury and nearly ended his career, um, as RJ will have to tell you. Um, Matt, big up Matt. He'll be on the United show at 10 o'clock. It's, it's going to be that one's going to be funny. Um, RJ obviously hosting that one. He says, wait, Phillips had a good game. You finally have something to have a parade for in May. Um, look, we're, we're actually, Genie, are, are you still going to that parade or, or is that? Are you still thinking about it? Um, when we win the Champions League, I'll attend the joint one. Let me ask you this. I, I'm still stuck on this situation here. Is Nat, what, what is Nat Phillips better at than Ben? Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm actually going to leave this room. Why are you trying to make these pieces for Nat Phillips not being good enough? I can only look at what he's done on the pitch. Right, right. We and are, on the we pitch, are he's been just as good as Ben Mee. Would you take Ben Mee? Look, so we are, we, we are, gonna, we are going round. Mee. We are going round in circles, so we oh. are going to move away from this uh, this conversation. Right? Because I don't think you two are going to agree on this anytime soon. And for the sake of, I know for the entertainment of the people watching, great entertainment. But they've had thirty three minutes of that. So moving on. Who have you got this weekend? I, I 